Mm-hmm. What happened? Can you describe to me the events of yesterday evening? Is it really necessary? I have already told Inspector Lestrade all that happened. Yes, madam, it is. I will tell you then. Sir Eustace retired about half past ten. I sat in this room until after eleven, absorbed in a book. Before I went upstairs, I entered the dining room to fetch a candle and... Oh, God. Please, go on. As I approached the French window, I found myself face to face with an elderly, broad-shouldered man who had just stepped into the room. Close behind the first man, I saw two others. One of them struck me a savage blow with his fist and fell me unconscious to the ground. And then? When I came to myself, I found that they had secured me tightly to a dining room chair. It was at that instant my unfortunate husband entered the room. He fought with the intruders? Yes, I think he had heard them, for he was holding his stick. But they were three, and he eventually succumbed. One of them, the elder one, struck him a terrible blow with the poker. I fainted once more. When I opened my eyes, they had withdrawn. Then my brave Teresa came to my assistance. Hmm. Did these three villains steal anything? Yes. I found that they had taken the silver from the sideboard. But you can see for yourself in the dining room. Okay, let's take a look at you. Let me know if you notice anything. this elegant dress a brooch gold brooch kangaroo Australian origin origin oh, what's this kill cheeks hmm mm -hmm. fresh bruises Two more things. Mm. Wedding ring. Yes. Old something. Old bruises somewhere. Old bruises. On her wrist. Yeah, old bruises. Okay. Cool. You mentioned that your marriage was not a happy one. Was there anything specific that was troubling you? He was not a nice man when he was drunk, and he suffered from dark moods, but nothing else. The bruises on your hands are at least one week old. Your husband caused those bruises? Oh, do you? Yes, he did. He was very angry at the time, out of control, again. Hmm. So Eustace was a drunkard. To be tied to such a man for life is worse than death. Your ladyship. Hmm, keep on. I'll examine his dining room as well. Oh, there it is. It's fucking dining room. Ha 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 ha. Mm hmm. Wow. You really know this game. Mm hmm. Oh, this is long. Mm. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh. mm. Jack Randall.
Oh, this one before. Uh, okay, this one before. Hmm. Okay. So we just spoke to her. Evidence. Current tasks. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. right, cool. The description of the Randall gang provided by Lady Brackenstall is identical to the one in the Times article. So yeah, it is. Maybe she just read it. Trapper's hut. Mm -hmm. Ooh, scratches. Hmm. These scratches are most definitely made by the picture frame. Oh, I found it. This is Sir Eustace's safe. There may be something important inside. I must ask Lady Brackenstall to open it. This is Sir Eustace's safe. There may be something important inside. I must ask Lady Brackenstall to open it. This photograph of Lady Brackenstall and her maid Teresa was taken at a port, but which one? Hmm. Looks French. Adelaide. No. Okay. Gabretta. So the lady and her maid came from Australia a year and a half ago on this ship. <laughs> Just nerve taking things. Like, where's my picture? Mm -hmm. Can you talk to the maid? Yep, Teresa. Teresa, I would like to hear your testimony. Certainly, sir. As I sat by my bedroom window, I saw three men in the moonlight down by the lodge gate. But I thought nothing of it at the time. Oh, if I'd known. And then? I went to bed, and it was more than an hour after that I heard my mistress scream. And down I ran, to find her tied to the chair and him on the floor with his head smashed. That's all I know. Ooh, what is the stain on her apron? Handkerchief. Coffee stain. Right 
Who knows? No, it's on her wrist. You had a wrist. I know, I know. Well, what do you say about the nose? No, nothing. I thought that was, was something there. Oh, okay. Working hands. Lady Brackenstall, could you open this wall safe? No, it is my husband's safe. I do not know the combination. We have to open it. Your ladyship? Hmm. Yes. Okay, so anything else in this room? My mistress is very tired. Can't you allow her to her room? Sorry, what do you say? What were you saying? Room. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be done. This is where she's resting, right? This is the this is the one where she's resting. Yeah. So there's more stuff to. F oh, maybe I just Let us it. try to open this safe. Oh, a puzzle, puzzle. This safe can be cracked. I only have to pay attention. The dial will vibrate when it is set to the correct number. Okay. Can you line up all the red sticks? Yeah. No. <laughs> there. Okay, so what's that? Thirteen or fourteen? Seventeen, seventeen, eighteen, right? It's fifteen. Oh, okay. I'm looking. I'm looking at the red thing. Okay, so uh, next is rotate. Then look at the next square, the next circle. So turn, turn, turn Again, the other way? Yeah, I'm doing that now. There. Oh, that's what you No, it just moved. Okay, so if I go this way, 15, then I go back. Is 15 again. You're supposed to start right and then you go left. But I don't think you could, you should pause like that, like when you turn, turn, turn. Yeah. So I should go right first, right? Go right first, hit 15, stop, fully stop. So is this right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I go right, right, 15. And then I go left. Fifteen again. What else can I do? Can I uh nope. Okay, so rotate left. Oh it turned a little bit, so go for another number. Yeah. Oh wait. 
I think you just go to each one. Oh wait, okay. So five. Alright, and then go. So turn it, turn the now again? Yeah, I'm doing that now. Oh. Okay. Yay. Physical and mental state is a great concern. Hmm. What's hepatic liver discomposition? Oh, okay. Hmm. Last time you met, your eyes were bloodshot, your skin was tinged. Jaundice? Yeah. Okay, now the particular odor from your breath, common with those suffering from liver damage. Lung abscess, <sighs> lick cramps. Hmm. Guess he drinks a lot. Left ribs. Pancreatic melody. Right, it is money. common practice to keep one's valuables in a safe behind a painting. It should not really pose a challenge for a criminal. Antique coins, possibly of value, but they're scattered without care. Done. Mm -hmm. I got a new task. Inspect. Okay, so I'm done inspecting this room. No, yeah, uh, I've done the medical report. I have the medical report. All right, cool. <coughs> now I go to a dining room. should examine the body of Sir Eustace Brackenstall. Really? Sir Watson, what have you learned from examining Sir Eustace's body? Well, I can confirm that the death was instant. Sir Eustace was facing his attacker when he received the blow to his head. There are no other apparent injuries. Hmm. I wonder what chair she, the Lady Brackenstall was tied in. I don't think it was tied. Hunting scene. His wife was tight, right? Yeah. Antique hunting weapons. These wine bottles are expensive and mostly from France. An empty silverware box. It appears that the intruders have stolen the contents. This candlestick is valuable. It is interesting that it was not also stolen. Anything else? No. Sailor's knots. That's interesting. This rope was handled by the murderers. We need a scent hound to follow their trail. I will take it with me. <laughs> yep. 
today. Yeah. This is the chair that Lady Brackenstall was tied to. Well, at least he doesn't get set on by Watson again. This glass has some wine traces, but no visible beeswing. Chateau Calon Segur, French wine, Grand Cru. There is beeswing at the bottom, as if the wine had not been decanted before being poured. This glass has some wine traces, but no visible beeswing. It is rather strange that only one of these glasses has dregs of bees wing inside it, while the other two are clear. A decanter standing next to the open bottle, an inseparable pair indeed. But it wasn't used. Why wasn't it used? A deer hunt. A fur trader's cabin. A hunting scene. I think I missed something here. The body? No, no, no. Something in this, because it doesn't seem like it's finished. An empty silverware box. It no, something else. Isn't there? Oh. A bottle of wine is missing here. Okay. The criminals did not thoroughly ransack the house. They only took a little silverware. Hmm. The head was cracked with the force of the blow. That must be the murder weapon. Quite a large stick, a formidable weapon. Barefoot, he had therefore been in bed and did not have time to fully dress. It is covered in blood. Sir Eustace might have struck his head upon it while falling from the blow. That is one possible explanation. Fur trader's cabin. cut by someone taller than me. Yeah. The death was instant. We're done. Am I? Yeah, I am done. So we're bringing the rope to Toby? Explore the outside garden. Go for a light jog. I hear a dog. This is a huge garden. 
The fountain. Oh, crazy. They have a well that's boarded up. Ah, there's a lady here. Something what? On the table? On the table. Table. I'm gonna go back to the table. Uh, where that statue is. Okay, let's go look at this statue. Oh. Yeah, times the uh, times um paper. But I can't grab it. Maybe later. Let me go back to um home first. Any deductions? Ooh, quite a bunch. Oh. Mm. I think. Yes. The criminals identified and Reynolds are well known. Yeah, that one. Yeah. So you think they were they're to blame or they're just like framed? So the last one is their plane. Yeah, so it's fake. The whole I thing is fake. I yeah. Think so. Okay, we'll go with that for now. Alright, uh my back. Okay, we'll get to the other clues later. It's still raining. Oh. Come on, Toby. We need the best nose in the British Empire on this case. I agree with you, Toby, that Watson's shoe is preferable to Mrs. Hudson's cold cuts. Um, did he give me... Hmm. Did I give him the rope? What? I agree with you, Toby. No, that's not that it. Watson's shoe is preferable to Mrs. Hudson's. Someone should take Toby for a walk. Okay. Why is it lagging? Can you analyze the rope first? Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, there. Let us see how the rope was cut. The fibers at the end of the rope are smoothly cut. Let us try to find out what tool was used to cut the rope. The fibers from this cut appear to be different. Fibers from this cut appear to be different. A knife. If I cut the rope with a knife, it matches the original. Hmm. My analysis table. It is useful for my work. I agree with you, Toby, that Watson. Didn't really help. Hmm. My archive. I can always cons. Mm, yeah, this is from the previous case. Mm. 
A map of London and the surrounding air. Someone should. What else is there to do now? Collect Toby from Baker Street and follow the central. So how do we get him? How do I get Toby? I agree. How can I bring Toby to um Look for his leash? Ah uh, yes. Where can I find a leash? Is the dog Watson's? Hmm. Oh no! Watson has a knife in his room! <laughs> Watson? It's evidence! <laughs> Private story. Yeah, I know. But that's cool, they actually leave like new things in people's rooms and stuff. Uh, so you get more and more stuff in your house. Souvenirs, you have a harpoon apparently. Yeah. I think I also have the knife, but. Uh, yeah, the knife. The knife. Yeah, see? Silver knife. Mm. Which uh, he has in his room. No, the, the gold, I think they, 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 they took it. But we made the silver one so we can keep it, I guess. We can disguise ourselves again. Uh, no need. I don't see a leash. see a leash anywhere. Yeah, I, don't know. I agree with you, Ted. Someone should take... Then. What? What happens to try going through the door? I don't know. Would he just follow you? We'll see. If not, can you open the window? Oh, he's there. He's there. He's sitting next to me now. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Watson. All right. Search, Toby. Good dog. No, no, no. The sand c continues away from the, the. It goes to the well, I think. Oh no, no. Wait. Uh, it's, okay. Wow. It's taking me for. Yeah, I think it's oh stuff. Okay. The intruder's trail is lost behind this wall. Hmm. So 
for what now? I go to the gate. Got another trail. Oh no, there's a well. There's a well. Sniff. How do I see this just now? The scent leads to the well. I should check it. Yep. And that little shed. The intruders entered the shed for some reason when they were making off with the silverware. <laughs> the criminals left the house through the French window. They walked to the shed, then across to the well before fleeing by climbing over the wall. I wonder why they chose such a winding route. Hmm, indeed. Let's take a look inside. That's a seed. Some empty bags were recently moved. This old suitcase sounds hollow. It must be empty. Small gardening tools. Nothing of great interest. This Ooh. hook might be useful. A hook. I got a hook now. Go to the well. Yes. I'll just take a shortcut. There's something glittering at the bottom there, but how can I reach it? If only I had something with which I could lift that object. If only I had something with which I could lift that object. If only I had something with which I could lift that object. The wheel handle is old and rusty. It seems to be used infrequently. Look for rope? Yeah, I gotta find a rope. Mm. Hmm. I'll be back. There's a rope, there's, there's a thing there. Right? Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, I got the point there. Oh. Oh, the yeah, to go the other side. Guess where it is? Silverware. This is hardly a coincidence. The Brackenstall coat of arms. 
It appears that we have found the stolen silverware. Right, now take it. <laughs> Talk to you later, Hall, I guess. Yes. These two? Fire. No, back poker. Yeah. Oh. oh. I guess this works too. Uh. Mm, okay. Okay, so does I did two or three people? There are three people drinking wine out of these glasses. One of the three probably prefers to be wine with bees. There were two people drinking wine out of these three glasses. The remaining glass with the bees would consist solely of the other two glasses. Which do you think? Two people. Because the only people who live in this house is the 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 husband, wife, and then the maid. Yes. Alright. Mm. Are there any other clues? Oh. Oh yeah, the knotted knife. I mean, the rope and the knot. Uh, the knife. Oh, there's another one. No, I tried that already. Oh. I tried something else. It works. Uh, okay. So now another two, another choice. Uh, is it a deadly accident or a poker blow? Don't know. That's hard to say. He did say like I'm tempted to say poker blow just because Watson um, did say it was. Instant death. Yeah. But I'm not really sure because we haven't really looked at the head injury. Mm hmm. But what would cause it to be bent like that? Hmm. I don't think any of those. We'll go together. Oh, another another clue. So is this robbery motivated or in, in imitated? Stole, they stole only the silverware, and the silverware was ditched at the scene. Yeah. Nope. 
Hmm. Nope. Oh, another one here. Um, you wanna guess which one? Hmm. I think Pokeblo. I'm gonna guess Pokeblo. For now. Okay. Anything else? These two doesn't go together, right? Nope. Violent behavior from Australia. Rhymes, but doesn't. Oh. All right. So what else? Anything else? Talk to the again. Yep. Oh, Lashrod. I think Lashrod has a nice job. He just like just calls Sherlock Holmes, and Sherlock comes and helps solve the cases for him. <laughs> he has the best job. What do you know about Sir Eustace, Inspector? What was his reputation? A charming man when sober, but an absolute demon when he was drunk. In such moments, he was apparently capable of anything. Why, once he splashed fuel on Lady Brackenstall's dog and set it alight. Another day, he threw a decanter of wine at Miss Wright's head. Hmm, the alcohol seemed to madden him. To the point that we were forced to intervene several times to avoid a scandal. Inspector, I have recovered the stolen silverware. You are a wizard, Mr. Holmes. And where yes, is it? In the garden well. Excuse me? Unique, isn't it? Rather absurd. What is the point of stealing silverware and then throwing it down into a well? <laughs> Perhaps it was used as a temporary hiding place. Or simply the thieves wanted to get rid of it. It is up to us to solve this mystery. Holmes, don't look at me like that. I don't know what to think about all this. <laughs> Holmes, don't look at me like that. Right. I don't know what to think about all this. Oh, I have instructions. Cool. I just found this. Um, open case, launch, launch. Oh, okay. Ah, this would have be helpful. Wait, go back. Uh, okay, cool. Talk to the lady again. There are three glasses on the dining room table. I was wondering if... Oh, I forgot. When I came to myself the first time, each of them had a glass in his hand. They might have been a father and his two sons. They talked together in whispers. And then they left. Hmm. We found your silverware, Lady Brackenstall. It had not been taken very far. Is that true? I am very thankful to you, Mr. Holmes. Your ladyship? Oh, what a horrible thing to have happened. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sir Eustace's <coughs> doctor speaks of his violent behaviour. Yes, Sir Eustace was an extremely violent man. A detestable human being, to be more precise. It is true that he once threw a decanter at me, and all because I dared to stand up to him in defence of my mistress. Sly devil. God forgive me that I should speak of him so now that he's dead. But a devil he was. If ever one walked the earth, we met him only 18 months ago. She'd only just arrived in London. Yes, it was her first voyage. She'd never been from home before. One love with his title and his money and his false London ways. If she made a mistake, she has paid for it, if ever a woman did. She doesn't have any friends here, so it was specially hard for her. Oh, she she said a lot of things. Yeah, it's quite long. Oh. Uh -huh. 
We found your mistress's silverware. Oh, that's good news. You really are as clever as they say. Indeed. Please leave my Mary alone. She suffered so much, she deserves some rest. Hmm, I got some more clues. So which one? Acquaintance or no acquaintance? Maybe she knows a sailor. I mean, why is she so pale? She doesn't go out much. Yeah. Well, no, you're talking about the woman uh, or the, yeah. the maid? The, uh, the, the lady? Uh, maid. She, oh. She's so pale, so she doesn't go much, not much, so I don't think she would be acquainted. Yeah, that's true. Mm, so, no acquaintance. Any cl clues? Any connections? I'm going to the somewhere to see if anything. Hmm. Alright, so let's look at other clues. Violent behavior. Oh, another clue. Wow, this is a lot of clues this time. Go for that. There's no connections though. Can you go to the middle? Middle? Can you say, like, change the robbery and the motive to the other one? Okay. Uh... Oh, no, all blue now. Ooh, wow, they're all like connecting to a new neuron. Alright. Murderers visitors. Uh, Eustace was murdered by one person who was visiting that night. It was he who tied up Lady Reconstor. He was tall and strong. Okay. And maybe it is a sailor. Nope, no connection. Oh, another one. Oh, wow. This The domestic violence is not connected to another one. Wow, crazy. <laughs> this, is, this is probably going to be a short one then. Uh, hopefully. The person who was visiting that night was probably a sailor. Yeah, so many connections. Alright. Look for a sailor then. So I got a new task. Look for a sailor. No more clues. So let's uh okay, let's let's go back and look for your archives? Oh, what was the name of the ship? The ship? The one, this, this one? Oh, oh, that ship. Okay, okay, hang on. Uh, let me go get it. Mm, this one. Rock of Gaberta. 1893. The name of the ship and the, la the date. The lady back in store and her maid. This voyage from Australia. That's all. Search archives. Archives. Oh. In, in my uh, library? I would uh, doesn't really. Uh, okay. Well, it says what? search for possible sailor suspects. Yeah. Uh, what would you go for sailor suspects? A bar? Yeah, but there's no, like. Hmm. I don't know. Sh should we talk to Lashrod again? You can. Or maybe Watson. Maybe Watson. Where's Watson anyway? He's at home. 
Lord I'm Brigham Brackenstall. The Brackenstall family seems rather austere. Uh, where's my dog? I heard my dog. Holmes, don't look at me like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where did my dog go? Oh well. Outside. Yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> okay, I'll go back, to, go back to Baker Street. There you are, Holmes. What's what should we do next, Holmes? Get beyond you. Brave Toby, the best nose in the British Empire. My analysis table it is analyze. useful for my work. Nothing to analyze. Oops. Oh, okay. Let me look at the. Okay. Yeah. Search for. Uh, Eighteen eighty-three. Ninety-three. Oh, ninety-three. Uh, Rock of Cabrera. Okay. A buck carrier from. <laughs> Six month journey from India. New Zealand and Australia ship brought to England. Miss Mary Fraser, the heiress of the Fraser family, owing land in mines in Australia. Oh, okay. All right. So, what does that do? Here it is. Indeed. Okay. Cool. I just read that. Okay. The shipping company, the Adelaide Southampton London line, and its address. Interesting. It must be the place where they keep the records, including the one for the crew of the Rock of Gibraltar. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard, they'll give it to you without any problems. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. Specialist, who's a specialist? Mm. Ooh, Wiggins. Alright, how do I find Wiggins? Um How do I get Wiggins again? Do you have a phone somewhere? Wiggins, I, I think it's the boy outside the window, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. So how did I call him last time? Open the window. Oh, yes, not this one. <laughs> uh, yes. Wiggins, would you come upstairs, please? See the shoe shine boy? He's a homeless network. Yes. <laughs> At your service, Mr. Holmes. I need a register, my young friend. If you could borrow it, there will be half a guinea for every one of you. I need the crew list of the Rock of Gibraltar in 1893 and their current employment. I'm straight on it, Mr. Holmes. Do you really think they'll find it, Holmes? Of course. My secret police is better than the yard in many ways. <laughs> oh, only three hours. Here it is, Mr. Holmes. But we can't take it back. It's too risky. <laughs> Put it on the table. I'll take care of it. Good work, young Wiggins. 
Oh, that's hilarious. Mm. Okay, now we are going to. Where's the table? Which table? Wait, wait. Yes, yeah, there you are. Okay. I left it right on the table for you, sir. Yeah, I've made tables. Not the one of the chest set. Uh, I have like. Ah, uh, register. I've made tables. This list shows the senior officers of the Rock of Gibraltar, on which Lady Brackenstall and her maid made their voyage. Lady Brackenstall does not know anyone in England. This must mean that someone on this list is our mysterious visitor. And these are the lists of the senior officers of the Adelaide, Southampton, London Line ships. Let us find out who was in London upon November the 7th. November 7th. Uh. Probably. Uh, the murder date, yeah, murder date is seven. Uh, seven Ernest uh, Woods is there. Ernest Woods, yep. This list shows the senior officers of the Rock of. This officer is still at sea, therefore he cannot be involved. Okay. Who else is there? Tom. Next page. Oh. Herbert. I do not think that this sailor has any connection to the case. Mm, William? This officer was on a ship that sailed half a month ago. He wasn't in London at the time of the crime. Next page. Uh, sorry, the five second delay from what you say and what I hear and... Yeah, yeah, that's true. Takes some time. Uh... Uh, the first one, I guess. Yeah, this officer one. was on a ship that sailed half a month ago. He wasn't in London at the time of the crime. Next one, I guess. Jack Crocker? Mr. Jack Crocker was in London upon the date of the crime, mm. and he is due to depart in two days. There's still quite a lot of people there now. Yeah, still looking. Henry, don't see it. Henry, Thompson, no Thompson. Herbert, no Herbert. Next. Herbert? This officer is still at sea, therefore he cannot be involved. Thompson Walker. This officer is still at sea, therefore he cannot be involved. Okay, so now it's between Henry and Jack. Henry and Jack. Henry, huh? This officer is still at sea, therefore he cannot be involved. Uh -huh. Captain Jack Crocker is our mysterious visitor. He was the only one around at the time of the murder. Oh, right. That was so difficult. Okay, so now what? Found a sailor, yes. Indeed. Call Crocker to confront him. How do I call him? Wiggins? This Crocker. Do you think... It would be interesting to meet him. Our young friend should be able to find him. Alright, Wiggins. Wiggins, could you find a way to bring this Captain Crocker here to us? Here? Holmes, that could be dangerous. No problem, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> oh. I gotta fight him again. Always fighting sailors. Mr. Holmes, 
I was informed that you were looking for me, and I'd like to know why. Yes, it is important that we talk. You will soon understand why. He's pretty tall. Yeah. And looks raw. You are acquainted with Lady Mary Brackenstall, are you not? Yes, I think I do remember her. From when I was first officer, but I still don't see... It seems your relationship went beyond that of mere passenger and first officer. How dare you? <laughs> Indeed, how reckless a feeling is love, particularly if one is prepared to commit a murder in its name. Explain yourself this instant! <laughs> you are aware that the murder made the headlines of the morning press. You read the newspaper report, but to your dismay, found it much fabricated. Once you learned that I wanted to see you, you came straight away. You needed to know what I had found. You? And what do you know? That evening, you were with Lady Brackenstall, despite the danger. I'm not afraid, Mr. Holmes. Besides, all of this is just guesswork. You would be right. If there was no evidence. What then? Ah, uh, yes. Let's take a look at you. Hmm. Beard. Charles is not here. Uh. He's still looking out Very the window. Tidy. Very tidy. Yeah. He has a knife. A sea knife. It's not a regular knife, I guess. For cutting sushi. Sure. <laughs> uh, shoes, boots, clean boots. There should be. There's some coffee stains. Strong right? build. Newspaper. Something or other. No rings. Oh. Yep, you're right. Strong bill. Looks honest. Okay, that really helps. Clear look. Something ink? No, oh, newspaper ink. Newspaper ink. What's the last one? Newspaper ink. Ah, it has hands. Mm-hmm. Mm. Didn't notice that. Not this one. Mm. Oh, that, yeah. Yep, yeah, newspaper ink. Ooh. Lady Brackenstall was tied to a chair on the night of the murder. And it was you who tied her up. You call that evidence? Sailor knots. Yes. Sailor knots. I guessed it. Yes, as she was tied with a sailor's knot. Your handiwork. So, it's a sailor who's done it. That proves nothing, Mr. Holmes. I'm not the only sailor in London right now. Mm -hmm. No fear is floor, anyway. On the night of the murder, I was aboard the shark. I was supervising the repair of a porthole. At night. It was an emergency. There was a leak. You can ask the ship's carpenter. He can confirm. I'm sure mm. that he can. Perfect. In that case, we have nothing more to talk about. Good evening, gentlemen. Huh. Holmes, what should we do now? Would you like to check his alibi? No. There is no doubt that these men will testify in his favor, and there will be no way to check. So, what then? So, we must work with what we have. We have all the puzzle pieces. Ooh, exciting, exciting. Now I understand why you dissected the bell rope. Really? So, fine men of the sea, aged 40s, capable, honest men, educated, despite not being wealthy. He was in haste when he read the paper clean his boots before heading out. Smart guy. Alright, so we have all the... Yeah, so we have all the clues, right? So... I don't know, do this go together? <laughs> yeah, they do. 
Okay, now we have a choice. Is he lying or not? other suspects though at this point I think we go back to your task book <sighs> yeah everything is done there's no additional tasks Almost everything points to him. Let's just go back again to let's be. Uh, yeah, let's go back again one more time to the to talk to the ladies again. That's it, yeah. Okay, so let's solve it here. <laughs> All right, let's arrest him. <sighs> I don't know, I got a feeling this might not be right. I almost feel like it's the other one. Who's the other one? Mr. Crocker to come here again, please. Yeah, that's what true. Hmm. I... But he would just say that he, you know, was doing it was self defense, right? He who could Why say that. Why did you make me come here again, Mr. Holmes? It is over. I know that it was you who killed Sir Eustace Brackenstall. What? I know because of the height at which the rope was cut. The knife used was a sea knife. The knots were sailors' knots, and not least, the sheer force that was put behind the killing blow. And because you are the only one who knows Lady Mary Brackenstall in London. And because you love her. It's true. It is time for you to tell us the whole truth. I admit that I loved Mary madly from the first day that I met her. But I never did come to visit her, for I believed that she was in a happy household. When I talked to her maid who told me everything, I was insane with rage. Hmm. I was due to set sail for six months away. I wanted only to see her again. But it turned into a damnable nightmare when he barged in. He dared raise his hand to her. He! He was not even worthy of licking her boots. Oh, I regret nothing. I admit I killed a monster out of love for her. She will forgive me if she is able. Lady Brackenstall already forgave you. She said nothing. Mary! 
but that makes her an accomplice as well as her maid. It places her in danger yet again. Mr. Holmes. You would not have managed to protect her. Till I die, do you hear me? Here is a letter that sets everything clear, and it is the one that should be disclosed to the police. I am the only culprit. Mary had nothing to do with it. Hmm. Now it is time to end this. Should have let me die. Mm. How can I live if Mary suffers? I am sorry, Captain Crocker, but there has been quite enough death in this case. <gasps> Inspector, I give you Sir Eustace's killer. He tried his best to perform his own justice. Well, I'm not surprised. Yes, it was me. I confess. Here is a piece of evidence that can be used in court. Perfect. A case that went smoothly for once. Alright, so let's check our conclusion. Okay, so basically, um, so Eustace was murdered by Captain Jack Crocker, who was visiting. Mm, they staged it as a robbery by the Rendo gang. Crocker used a sea knife to cut the bear rope to tie the lady and then hid the silverware in the well. He committed a violent crime for which he deserves punishment. Alright. So, yeah. So, I'm right. Found all the clues. Uh, accept decision. All right, Fisher's case. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was elementary. All right, personality ranking just ninety-three percent people ch solved the case this way, and thirty-five made the same moral choice. I guess a lot of people chose the other one. Yeah, like he did it himself. Yeah, kinda. like, yeah, he, he did, kind of. Alright, so that concludes this case. Um, I want to actually play another game. Not, 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 not this one, but like another game, game. Not Sherlock. It, that might, that may be a shorter game. On the, on you to come, like, it's, it's kind of like a puzzle, right, where you can choose different things. I just got it today. Okay. I, I wonder if it's um. I wonder how it is. So I try it out. I gotta end this case first. Holmes, for heaven's sake, whatever's going on? Oh, hello, Watson. You're early. Did you kill all of your patients? <laughs> what? <laughs> Holmes, where have all these wretched bees come from? I increased the temperature of the room so as to prevent them from hibernating. I needed to take a sample of honey. But it worked, Watson. We will have honey all year round. Oh. Ridiculous and dangerous. They are domestic bees. Apis mellifera. Such industrious workers. Anyway, Watson, I am sorry, but I must leave you. I'm in rather a hurry. Do you have a new case? Yes. But nothing as thrilling as this experiment, a uh, theft of plants at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Kew. I'm helping a minister who's an old friend of mine. Uh, you can join me if you like. Well, I'll admit that I'd far rather accompany you than remain alone here with these workers of yours. Besides, you'll need a helping hand with the flowers you're intending to bring back. Watson, how ever did you guess? For the great Sherlock Holmes to bother with the theft of plants. Come on, admit that you're planning to spoil your little bees with some rare pollens. <laughs> <laughs> Since when did I become so transparent? Let us go. 
Okay, we'll end it here. Uh, main tab. Yes. Okay, let me ch change the screen and I'll be back. Do, 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 do.